Hey guys and welcome back to the TC Games Daily Origami Series. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make the Spring Mantis, which looks like this. And it's actually made up of two units, so it's a modular piece and it requires two square sheets of paper. So on that note, let's begin and I'll show you how to make this. So for this model you're going to need two square sheets of paper and we're going to start with the first one. So we're going to put the other one aside. And we need to get this one to the bird base, so if you know how to do that, you can skip ahead. But if not, we're going to start with the color side facing down. And we're going to start by folding it so that this side edge aligns with this side edge here. So we're essentially folding it in half. And you want to get it nicely aligned before you crease it in. Like this. And then go ahead and crease it all the way down. Now we're going to unfold this. Now we're going to turn it sideways and we're going to repeat the same steps. So hold it so that this edge aligns with this edge. Once again, align it properly. Right, I'm using foil paper so it does tend to be a lot stiffer. But anyway, yeah, let's get that aligned like that. And once you've got it aligned, crease it in. And for this model, it doesn't really matter what type of paper you use. I just decided to use this one because it will end up looking a lot better. But uh, once you have this, we're now going to fold it so that this top edge aligns with this side edge here. Like this. And this is going to give us our diagonal crease. Once you have that aligned, crease it in. Do the same thing on this side. Now we're going to unfold it. Finally fold it so that this top edge now aligns with the side edge. Which will put in our last diagonal crease in there. And once you have that aligned, give it a nice crease. Like this. It in. Do the same thing on this side. Crease it in. And now we're going to leave it the way it is and we're going to place it down. Now place your left hand on the side right past the center crease. Open this up. We're going to pull this tip all the way to the center like this. And you're going to end up with two flaps, one up here, one down here. Take the top flap and just collapse it down to the bottom one, like this, and then crease it in. Crease the center as well. Now do the same thing on the side, so place your hand here, open up this flap, grab this tip, bring it to the center, take this top flap, collapse it onto the bottom one, and then crease the edge and the center. And you should now get a shape like this with these flaps in the bottom. Now we're going to fold it so that this side edge aligns with that center crease. Let's fold it in like this. And then you'll want to crease it in nicely. Do the same thing on the sides, fold it to the center. Crease it in. Turn the model over and repeat the same steps. Fold it to the center, crease it in. And finally, do the same thing on this side. Crease it in. Now we're going to go to this top triangular part here, and we're going to fold it down right along the edge of these two flaps. Like this. Give it a nice crease. Unfold it. Now unfold these two flaps. And we're going to allow this bigger flap to open up right along this crease we just made. And then take this corner and tuck it in, and it should fold along the already existing creases. Like that. And it might take a bit of adjustment to actually get it inside. Do the same thing on the sides, fold this in. Crease it in. 
Now we're going to take this flap and bring it down and then just crease the corners into place. Do the same thing on this side, so open up the two flaps, open up the bigger flap, like that. bring this in. Do the same thing here, bring this in. Take this flap, collapse it down, and then crease it in. And you should now have your finished bird base, which will look like this. Now we're just going to take this flap, bring it back up, turn it over, and do the same thing. And you should now end up with a shape like this. Now we're going to go down to the bottom part here, and we're actually going to fold it so that this edge aligns with this edge. And you want to make sure it's the part where you have these two flaps. Fold it like this. And you want to get it really nicely aligned before you crease it in. So Do the same thing down here. And down here you want to get a really nice point right at the tip. So I'm going to realign that a little bit. Just like that. And once that's nice and aligned, give it a nice crease. Do the same thing on this side. Fold it so that this edge aligns with the center intersecting point of these two flaps. So fold it like this. And once it's aligned, once again, just give it a nice crease. Flip the model over and do the same thing. Just fold it to the center there. Crease that in. And finally do the same thing on this last side here. Like that. And that looks about right, so just go ahead and crease that in. Once you've got these two nice pointed tips, like this, what we're going to do is we're going to, once I realign this, okay, so we're just going to take this tip here and we're going to fold up so that we get a crease going from about this point here to some point over here and you can decide how far out you want to fold that, so just crease that in. And even if it's a little bit off, we'll be fixing that later, so unfold that when you get that crease there. Open this flap up like this. And just like you would uh, while making the crane, for example, just grab this flap and you want to pull it up and just reverse it. And basically this valley fold in the center becomes a mountain fold, so pull it up like this. So when you turn that into a mountain fold, it's going to close together like that. But before you close it, make sure this tip becomes really nice and pointed, which is fairly important for this model. So. Just work at it for a little bit. Once it's pointed, give it a nice crease. Like that. And now you'll want to shimmy this down so that it runs straight at a 90 degrees angle right along here. So you might want to straighten that out even a bit more, like that. Just like that. And then repeat the same steps on this side. So again, just curl it out like this. Grease it in. Open up the flaps. Reverse fold it up. Make sure it's a nice point before you crease it in. And then, again, just align it so that it's straight. Like that. Once you've got it nice and straight, we're now going to fold the wings so that this tip and this tip here come down and meet this tip and this tip over here. So just go ahead and fold it down like this. And make sure those edges are aligned on each side. And then give it a nice crease up here. And you should only see a little triangle here and here, like that. Now we're going to take this flap and raise it back up and it should reveal this little triangle. 
So once you get this little triangle, you want to take this and just bring it up so that it's facing away from the two legs here, like that. And then go ahead and fold it right along that center crease, this way. And again, make sure this tip here is nice and pointed before you go ahead and crease that in. Just like that. And once again, just crease everything into place. And your model should now look like this. So now we're going to take this, and we're going to take this side here, and we're just going to pull it up while holding this corner here. So just allow it to go up like that. And you want a bit of an angle here, like this. Once you get it to about this point here, go ahead and just smush this down, like that. Do the same thing here. So once you've got that angle, now we're going to go ahead and work on the legs. So we're going to go to this leg first. And we basically want to create a reverse fold right at this point here. So go ahead and just twist it like this. And then you'll just want to open this flap up and then reverse fold it. And you should have it so that this tip here is directly below this tip at a bit of an angle, not by much, like that. And you should end up with a shape like this. Now we're going to create another reverse fold, so open up this flap here and just reverse this. But this time, before you crease it in, you basically want to try and get it so that this edge here sort of comes at the same angle as this edge over here, so just shimmy that around like that until you get that more or less aligned. Just like that. And as you can see, they're pretty much in the same angle there. Now we're basically going to open up this flap here, pinch these two corners together, and you just want to push into this edge so that you get this sort of flap sticking out like this. And then go ahead and while pinching these two together, just squash this together like this so that you get a shape more or less like this. Then you want to bring this edge here all the way up to that edge there. So just slowly work it up like that. Do the same thing on this side, so just take this edge and sort of bring it up a little bit, like that. And you should get a nice pointed tip like this. And your basic shape should be more or less like this, a nicely curved shape, like that. And we're going to do the same thing on this side here. So once again, open up this flap and you want to reverse fold it this way. Again, this tip here is going to be right below this one, like this. And now we're going to take this, open it up again, create another reverse fold. Once again, we want this sort of aligned with this edge, but this time we can just align it with this edge here, since we already worked on that before. Crease that in. Once again, pinch these two together, you can just pinch all that sort of reverse this flap here so that it doesn't crease past the two points that you're pinching so just let me show that to you again when you have it like this open it up push on this edge here and reverse it out and you want to be careful here it's pressing it all together nicely
just like that. And this time we don't need to move the edge up because it's already intersecting with this edge here. So like on this side we had to move the edge here up a bit so that it was closer to this edge. For this side you don't have to do that. And at this point you should end up with two nice tips like this. And now we're basically going to go ahead and shape the head. So turn it back over this way so that you have both the legs facing here. And before I actually go to the head, I want to make sure this leg here is angled almost exactly the same as this leg. So put those together like that. And then I'm just going to spread them a little bit just to show that there are two of them like that. So on this side, you should get a shape that's basically more or less like this. So now we're going to go and shape up the head, so go to this point here, and we're going to fold it again, so that we get a crease running from this point to this point, like this, a straight crease, crease that in, unfold it, now we're going to reverse fold it at that crease we just made, just like that. And we're basically going to reverse fold it again, but this time we want a crease that goes right along this edge here, so go ahead and fold it out along that edge, so right along this edge here. Unfold it. If you unfold this now, you should now have two creases, one here and one here. Just go ahead and reverse fold it out along those creases, like this. And we're going to do that one more time, so fold it along this edge crease it, unfold it, unfold this, and reverse fold it down. And once you've got that aligned, you should get a shape like this. Now we're going to basically open this up a little bit, and we're going to tuck a bit of the tip underneath, so that you get a straight edge right near the end of the mouth. And now you can decide which side you want the praying mantis to look. So if you want to look this side, I would flatten it out like this. Or if you want to look this side, you could just go ahead and flatten it out like this. So that you end up with a shape like this. And that should basically be your finished head and body for the praying mantis. So once you've finished that, we're going to now go to the base. So we're going to use our second sheet of paper now. So once again, we're going to start by turning it so that it's the color side facing down. And we're now going to fold it so that this side edge aligns with this side edge here. So we're folding it in half. And once again, get it nicely aligned before you crease it in. Like that. Then give it a nice crease. Now we're going to fold it so that this edge aligns with this edge here. that and then crease it in. Now we're going to go ahead and open up this first pocket and if you just open it up all the way you should now be able to align this edge with this edge here or the crease with this edge rather like that and once you have this little triangular shape go ahead and crease it in. Like this. Flip the model over and you want to do the same thing on this side so go ahead and open up this flap and then flatten it down so that you get this nice triangular shape and then crease it in. And you should now end up with a shape like this, and this is known as the water bomb base. Now we're going to take this right flap here, and we're going to fold it so that this edge aligns with that center crease. So fold it down like this. And when you have that aligned, give it a nice crease. 
unfold it. Now you'll want to fold it so that this bottom edge aligns with that center crease. Like this. Once again, crease it in nicely. Now we're going to unfold this. And if you turn it this way, you're going to have these two little triangular shapes here. Just grab them by the side. And if you pull it together, this flap here is going to tend to come together and it's going to create a nice little tip. And you want to align this edge with that edge. Like that. And then just allow it to squash down until you get a shape like this. And again, you want to adjust it so that it's nice and pointed. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on this flap here. So it's going to be this flap that's right underneath us on this side. Let's fold it like this. Crease it in. Unfold it, fold this edge up. Crease it in. Unfold this. Bring these two together. And then just straighten this out. And then bring it down to match the other flap there. And you should now get a shape like this. Now we're going to take this flap and we're going to twist it so that this edge basically aligns with this crease right here. So we're going to take it and just twist it and align it like this. Crease it in. And you want to do the same thing with this side, so twist it. Align this edge with that edge. Until you end up with the tips facing this way, like this. Now we're going to just take these two and we're going to pull it down a little bit just so that it's a little shy of this tip here. Not by much though. Just to about that length and you want to do the same thing on this side. So that they're both nicely aligned. Now we're going to separate these two by opening up this flap and we're going to place it down like this. Then we're going to open up these two flaps here and again you want to pull this down so that it's peaking just past the edge of this flap so let's go ahead let's bring it down to about this point and as you can see it's sticking out down there unfold this do the same thing here so I'll just refold that to about that point there and this time you want the side to be aligned with that side, so let's take a look there. That looks more or less even, so you should now get a shape like this. And on this side it should look like this. Once you've got this shape, now what we're going to do is we're going to repeat the same steps on this side, more or less. So fold it so that this top edge aligns with the center crease. Do the same thing with the bottom edge, crease it in, once you've got that aligned, unfold it, now we're going to fold these two together, so that it creates this nice tip, and again we want to fold it to a nice little point there. bring it down. Then we're going to do the same thing on this side, so fold it to the center, crease it in, fold this edge up, crease it in, unfold this, bring these two together, pinch these two so that they're nicely aligned. Fold this down. And now what we're going to do is we're going to fold this back up, but this time we want this edge to align with the top half of this edge. So just go ahead 
and fold it like this so you can see this edge is now aligned with this edge and then we're going to basically just crease that in and now you'll want to do the same thing on this side here so fold it up once again you want this edge to align with this edge like this and you should basically get a shape like this now and what we're going to do now is we're just going to fold it right along the center there so that these two meet and you'll just want to push these together so that they're close but you want to leave a little gap right there and the same goes for the top legs here just spread it a little bit so that it looks like there are a total of four legs like this and now we're going to take our top part here and we're going to need a little bit of glue but we're just going to slide it down into this part here so that we end up with a shape like this and you'll want to leave a little bit of gap there so that it gives it a bit more shape but if you really wanted to you could just put it together that's entirely up to you and you can play around with that until you get a shape that you like so let's go ahead and glue this into place I'm going to apply I think it's easier to apply some glue here so that it stays nicely so apply some glue in there apply a bit in there as well and let's get rid of that excess bit there now we're going to take this and just slide it into place and it should just stay nicely like this and now you can spread the legs apart like that and like this and it should stand really nicely like so so thanks for watching guys if you liked the video don't forget to rate and subscribe and I'll see you next time